think I, I think I might have a fucking problem. Pushing out of rolling marijuana. Thinking about getting more to the bank, but they won't let me in cause I smell like dang. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. Madden World, what it be like? It's your boy, Fo. Xbox 720 is the game of tag on the PS4. And yo, this is that double, triple Madden OGs, and we are back. And bro, last time I left you, we were talking about the 46 normal playbook. Not 46 normal playbook, but the formation itself. And we were covering a play called Cover 2 Invert. Um, we went over a lot of stuff with this man. We were showing you how you could cross man and blitz. Uh, the main important part about it was is that we could throw out that speed package that would get us two additional DBs onto the field, totaling up to be six. And when you got all these players in the box, but you're still able to get six DBs on the field, uh, this is a very formidable defense because it's a really good hybrid defense, bro. Uh, we even got, man, one of our subs said he's already been using it, creating turnovers. I got great feedback on it. So I wanted to kind of bring you guys some more out of this particular formation. Now, to complement it, bro, and I know like maybe like three other blitzes that I could run out of this formation, uh, but we're going to look at a man blitz because I already gave you a zone blitz, so let's go with a man blitz. So we're going to look at the play called cover one hole. So let's go ahead and call it, put it on the field. While I'm finding a play over here, bro, I need y'all to motherfucking smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you sub to your boy, man. I'm putting in a lot of work. I'm always thorough with my shit, man. And it only take a second for you to do it. Go on and do the shit right now. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. Now, a couple of things. One, you can run this blitz left or right. It does not matter. So, if I show you one setup, just reverse this shit and run it the opposite way. If you want to run it the opposite way, and it will work exactly the same all right now and the next thing that we want to say if they're running shotgun a quick rule of thumb is always bro always try to make sure you're blitzing to the opposite side of the running back now if you get caught on the same side of this running back it's okay it really really is because positioning is key i'll show you but try to make sure you can um, because you don't need to flip this play at all, it's really easy for you to just identify where the running back is and set up, all right? Now, uh, we're going to run. Of course, you see it strong to the left, so we're going to go ahead and run to the opposite side. So we would shift the defensive line to the right. We would crash the defensive line up. We bluff blitz the right of screen defensive end, and then we would blitz the linebacker and then move him out, all right? Now, what that is going to do for us is still keep our cover one integrity, which we basically have everybody manned up. We got a hook zone and a deep blue uh, single high right here. Now, as you can see, I got all these DBs. So, I got a DB on the damn running back. And more importantly, I got a DB on the tight end. And I think that is very important. I've been doing that in Madden for as long as I can remember, and I'm able to get a lot of interceptions out of the fact that I'll have a very, very high man coverage um, cornerback on a tight end. Now, he will kill the fucking tight end on everything except jump balls. And if you can get somebody like a Sherman and Mutt that you can put right there or a Sean Smith or any or Dominic Rogers called Marty there, they're 6'2". You'll even stump the uh, you'll even stump the fact that he's tall out, and you'll just completely take away their tight end by having a good uh, cornerback here. So I think that's really important to note. Now we'll go ahead and snap the ball, and as you can see, this guy's gonna come free, although he didn't come like very clean on this particular play. You saw him come in free. So we'll set it up again. See if we can get him to come in a little bit cleaner than that. We'll crash the, uh we'll shift right, crash up, bluff list this player, and then we'll go ahead and set this guy out. Alright. So do the same thing. Kinda at the numbers uh, is where you want to put him. Just depends. Uh anyway, we'll go ahead and snap the ball. 
as you can see this guy is gonna come in clean now what we want to do is we want to slide protect right that's the next thing we want to do i just take you through all of the things that we can do and all of the ways that this blitz is going to be effective because we're only sending four players i'm going to show you we can get this blitz in on as many as seven all right so we want to go ahead and shift right we want to crash up we want to bluff blitz and then we want to blitz this guy just move him out that's all you have to do and it's really really simple how we're setting this up and uh we'll go ahead and snap the ball and as you can see this is something that i wanted to talk about because i don't know about 70 percent of the time i am now when they shift whether they're blocking and shifting or just shifting the line we're able to create a B gap blitz without nano protection picking the shit up so as you can see right here what's gonna happen is is that DT will sometimes engage the right tackle and when he does engage the right tackle the right guard will now for some fucking reason choose the linebacker I don't know why I don't know why bro he'll choose the linebacker instead of choosing the defensive end and then the defensive end will be gap in without nano protection picking him up at all so this is a essentially a b gap blitz that I'm showing you right here it doesn't happen that way all the time if it if he doesn't come in then the linebacker comes in but you'll find when they slide protect it'll happen like that a whole fucking lot so I just wanted to make sure I showed that now let's go ahead and move on to um, blocking the running back so now we want to block the running back we'll shift the defensive line to the right crash them up left the screen uh, defensive and bluff blitz him and then we'll go ahead and move the player out once again so we'll show you right now what's gonna happen is, is we're still gonna be able to get that pressure no different he's not coming clean but depending on your position and he will but as you can see blocking the running back does not work so now we want to go ahead and block the running back we want to shift to the right okay because that's what i would do i would just go ahead and shift the line to the side the blitz is coming to and then i would block a running back or block a player um as you can see i mean we're just doing the same shit no different positioning is key when they start to block players and, and do shit like that so we want to go ahead and set them up and then as you can see look b gap <laughs> came right in bro so it didn't matter, bro. The blocking player and shifting the line, it did not matter. He still chose that player. As you can see, boom, B gap blitz. All right? So make sure you have a quick player right there. Now we want to move on to play action blocking. That shit's not going to work. Let's find something that has a player blocking. Uh, no screen. All right, PA Reed. Okay, so PA Reed has a player blocking. So now what we want to do is stick to the same place shift the defensive line crash them up bluff blitz and set the player up all right it's really quick to set up too so quick to a point um you'll probably be able to make other adjustments if you want to bro uh anyway we'll set this play up if they start the like if they start the like play action block you and just make sure you are always um as you can see just make sure you're always calling like pass um like pass commit if they start doing that and then he'll just run down on him but as you can see that shit didn't work bro he's free as fuck <laughs> so all right that's this it's obvious that that's not gonna work so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna max protect okay so i'm gonna block both players and we'll see what happens so we'll shift the defensive line to the right we'll crash them up same exact setup i don't and that's what i like about this one is that I don't have to change my setup, but the uh, offense needs to really adjust to me, okay? So now we'll go ahead and set it up again. We'll snap the ball. And as you can see, he just fucking screams in. Make sure you have somebody uh, with good pursuit so they take the correct pursuit angle in. Otherwise, they might do some shit stupid, like try to go around. Um, 
because I've had that happen where the player will try to go around the defensive uh, end. That's because your pursuit rating isn't high enough. So make sure you have a linebacker with pursuit that's like 85 or higher, and then he'll just shoot right through this gap. And that's with two players blocking, bro. So they max protect, and it's still it's nothing. You know what I mean? So now what we want to do, and I think I cover it. What we cover it? Uh, nobody blocking, slide protect, block a running back, block and slide, play action blocking, max protect. Now we want to find a PA shot play, and um, I know the Raiders have a nice PA shot play. And then, um, oh shit, right there. All right, cool. So one thing that's different about their shot play that they have in their playbook is, as you can see, now the running back and the tight end are on the same side in a trip set. So I talked about that earlier, that if you get caught out of position with the running back on the same side, uh, you know, sometimes you can still get it to come in. So we're going to try to get it to come in and see what we can do. All right, so no different. We're going to try to see if we can get this to come in. And one of the things that happened is, let's go ahead and replay that real quick. Is when they block two players like that, especially when they block the tight end, the tight end's player will come in. So as you can see, now he will just scream through the A-gap. And that is not a linebacker. That is a 92-speed cornerback which is why you want to <laughs> be careful about shit like that. And then, as you can see right here, um, they actually picked up the player on the outside. I think my positioning was a bit off. If you may, if you position a player right, then he should also come in. Sometimes he won't, though. But as you can see right here, boom, he came right in. We'll try it one more time and see what happens. So we'll shift again, crash up. Because I'm actually blocking seven and play action blocking. So, I mean, getting somebody to hit him at all is is good. You know what I mean? But uh, we want to see if we can get that linebacker in. Let's see what we can do. So close, 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 close. Almost. So let's go ahead and uh, replay it again. Oh yeah, so as you can see, we're we're real close. He just picked him up right at the last second. So looks like PA shot blocking has a good chance to stop it. I think that's probably the only thing that really does. As you can see, they're gonna have to run play action blocking and I'm running it to the same side. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I could just do this shit here. I could just set it up the opposite way like I was talking about. And this would be a hell of a problem. You know what I mean? I could just come the other way. And if I did, bro, he's screaming. You know what I mean? It's not going. He's screaming. It's easy. I'm just trying to get it to come in on the same side for you. But as you can see, like, that's all you have to do. Just take it the other way. And I'm sending four. They're running play action blocking and blocking seven, bro. And I'm still able to get that in. As you notice right there, it didn't matter because Eli Apple is going to come in. So one of those players are going to scream. He can't pick up both. And that's all you really have to do if they doing shit like that. I just really want to try to get this in. I'm kind of on the fly just doing this shit too. But anyway, um, I'll run it one more time. If it doesn't come in, fuck it. We'll end the video. Man, I'm so close with it. But anyway, you just run into the opposite side. It'll still come in, bro. So you can run it on shot shit, too. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, it's really, really hard to stop. One last thing that I wanted to say with it is one of the things that you should note is, bro, uh, because it's um, like a cover one, then they do a much better job at trying to play over the top. See, um, and that's something that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned. So let's let's show you that again. Because they play in cover one, cover one is better than two man under in a way with the man coverage. Because when they run deep, 
usually when it's two man under and they run deep, the cornerback gets underneath the player. In cover one, they stay on top of the players. As you can see, they stay on top both players. So it makes it a lot better. The coverage is a lot better. And when you have a player like Dominic Rogers called Marty deep, then, you know, you get good play on the ball. But I just wanted to make sure that I showed that. You could get adjusted with this particular play. I just wanted to show how hard it stopped. Quickly, what we covered was is slide protection it comes in on, block running back it comes in on, block running back and slide protect, play action blocking, max protect, and it even comes in on shot uh, blocking to the opposite side of the running back. So, bro, like comment if you feel like i left anything out there on the field or a way you would like to adjust this particular play let me know put it in the comment box if you feel like i forgot something or left something out if you have any questions about what i'm doing let me know also comment in the comment box if you want me to keep on dealing with this 46 normal playbook and show you some other blitzes and other things that i like to do in terms of coverage plays and like i said at the very beginning of the fucking video bro Man, run up that like button on your boy, man. I know y'all know I've been putting in work for a long time, man. It is it's blasphemous that y'all sub to me, bro, and watch the fucking video and then not hit the like button, bro. I mean, you using this shit, like it, dog. If you new, like the shit, bro. If you learn something today, and bro, man, I'm telling y'all, if y'all new sub, man, I'm always dropping jewels in this Madden shit and 2K2, man. We're gonna add shit to it. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is, man. As always, respect the OGs. Peace.